Renewed fighting is overshadowing the latest round of talks in Geneva. This video posted online Thursday purports to show the aftermath of government airstrikes on the city of Homs. There have been fierce clashes around the rebel-held city of Aleppo. The United Nations Special Envoy to Syria, who is overseeing the talks, said humanitarian relief was struggling to get through to besieged towns. I cannot deny that everyone in the meeting was disappointed, indeed many of them actually frustrated, by the lack of new convoys reaching in particular some areas. Those difficulties suggest the ceasefire is becoming increasingly shaky. The less the tension is on the front lines, the easier it is for humanitarian aid convoys to pass through. And as tension rises, it becomes more and more difficult. And put that together with evidence that the Syrian government appears to be gearing up for another major offensive around Aleppo. The Syrian opposition, represented at the talks by an umbrella group called the High Negotiations Committee, said Thursday it would accept a transitional government that includes current government figures. We will have no veto as long as they don't send us uh, criminals, as long as they don't send us people who are involved in the killing of Syrians. The opposition insists Syrian President Bashar al-Assad cannot be part of the country's future. But government negotiators, who will join the talks Friday, said the opposition is dreaming. If uh, we have to proceed, uh, then uh, we need uh, to forget, uh, or we, we need others to forget uh, the dreams they have uh, had uh, for the last five years and to come with factual, actual uh, solutions to the problem. Analysts say it's unclear who is directing the Syrian government delegation. There has been evidence of different political fa factions jockeying, jockeying for influence. And exactly who is writing, what riding instructions for the Syrian delegate to the peace talks, I think is an important question. The United States ambassador to the UN voiced her fears that the renewed fighting in Aleppo could derail the peace talks and urged President Assad's key ally Russia to, in her words, get the Syrian regime back with the program. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.